What's going on, my dudes? Alright, so I kind of wanted to show you all, like, pretty much getting set up to record a video and, like, turning on my lighting and so you can see, like, how much of a difference, you know, lighting makes when I do these uh, videos. So today I wanted to do a vlog, and this is kind of addressing some of the backlash from the haul video that I had done. And I guess some people weren't too <laughs> happy with me for, um, for saying that I wasn't going to be doing, like, a lot of videos going forward. And the thing is, is, like, I'm not closing the channel out. The channel's still going to be around. You're just not going to be seeing, like, as much of me. Maybe, potentially. Like, I just got a promotion at work, so I'm going to be switching, like, pretty much I was working nights, and I'm going to be working days now, so that's going to make a massive improvement with my productivity, and pretty much the position that I'm going to have now is a step up from the position that I would had before. Yeah, so I'm going to be switching from, like, a night shift, which is what I was working to a day shift and the thing is is like with the night shift that I was working the only time that I had to sit and make videos was Saturday and Sunday and now that I'm going to be working mornings it's going to be a lot easier for me to be able to make videos and I'll probably even be able to do more with this channel and that was one of the things that was like bumming me out it's just so like I didn't really know what direction I was headed with within my life and just with everything and it was bumming me out and then working these hours like not getting out till like two three in the morning sometimes and it's like i'm grateful you know to have a job and i like my job and i'm not i'm not complaining about you know having work because there's so many people that wish they could have a job and they wish they could have a stable job and they will they would love to be able to make more than like 30 hours a week and actually survive on something more than minimum wage and i have the opportunity where like i make a lot more than minimum wage and i'm actually like doing really well for myself and I'm in a really great position right now and I don't want to squander what I have but I also want to you know keep this channel going like I'm a really creative person and like if you know me in real life and I know some people watch this that know me in real life and I'm a psychopath like I don't have like time off I'm always in the middle of something I have to always be in the middle of something I have to always you know kind of keep myself occupied this is part of the reason that i've been able to like keep this channel going that i have like you know 50 something videos on this channel and i've been doing this now for about a year like it's 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 officially been a year of me being on youtube we're in may right now and i hopefully yeah i'll be able to drop this video in may so i've been doing this for a year and and it just feels so so wild you know and i it's funny because like i'd say like you know i have 50 plus videos on the channel and i actually do have 50 plus videos i have like 52 it just feels crazy dude that like i made 50 videos like just just saying it sounds so wild but it's true and and i also write like i write books and like i'm gonna sh i'll show you my books but i just want you to know this isn't like a self-promotion i'm not going to put a link below for you to buy my books or anything so i'm not trying to self-promote self-promote i just want to like because i know i always say this and like i don't think just so that people know that i'm telling the truth so these are my books so there's one of them so these are <laughs> legitimate books that i wrote uh this is another one this is bridge burner this is one of the, my first novel that i wrote uh, this is a story collection called uh destroy of july and this is my last novel called uh the salt on beechwood so yeah these are these are real these are real books that i wrote and it's just i'm one of those people like i always have to be doing something i have to always be creative because if i'm not always creative then i start to get depressed and i start to get into my feelings and i start to feel like trash and that's kind of what's been happening to me with you know like the hours that i work at work and only having like two days to create and it's been making me really sad really depressed and I have to be able to be creative, otherwise I don't feel like myself, and that's part of the reason too that like, you know, I just said, you know what, I need to like, kind of take a step back, but then, you know, this promotion is coming through now, and with that I'm going to have more time to dedicate to you guys, and to create more content for this channel, because I do love making content, and it feels really cool to be able to sit here and talk to you, and to get feedback, and to get comments, and people to to say, hey, I found your channel on YouTube or whatever, and you know, message me on, on Instagram or something. I'm gonna try to keep this short, but it, it might inevitably be a long video. I've like, I wrote a lot of stuff, and I'm sorry if like I'm making you uh, read my chicken scratch. And so yeah, I just I wrote all the things that I wanted to cover because I'd actually recorded this video last night, and 
I was drinking a little bit when I recorded it and it didn't go well at all. It was a rambling mess and I recorded like 20 something minutes and I just watched, I watched it back like twice and I just, I was like, this doesn't work, dude. I have to like write down everything that I want to say and then I'll do this. And I hope that this works because I know this isn't technically content. This is just me kind of sitting down and, you know, saying, hey guys, you know, this is where I'm at. And I should have done this at the beginning of the video, but let's do it right now. So I just wanted to say to everyone that's still, you know, here with me, and I'm like, there's like a hundred plus of you right now. I don't want to say a number because like I lost like five subs, you know, like when I posted the other, like my whole video and I said like, Hey, I'm going to be maybe, you know, kind of like not doing as much, you know, with manga hauls, I lost like five subs, like within half an hour. And it's just, it kind of sucked, but I, I should have expected it, you know, that there would be that much of a backlash to, to me kind of saying, Hey, like. Because to me, this isn't really a manga channel. I mean, it is a manga channel, but it isn't an exclusively manga channel. I mean, you you see that I also post like vinyl journeys and whatnot, and like I, I do want to, for the most part, stick to manga. I've made I've made that decision that this is predominantly going to be a manga channel, but I I don't want to just do hauls. Like that's not what this is. I don't want to just every single week. Here's another haul or every single month. Here's another haul. Like I want to actually talk about the manga that I'm collecting. I want to have conversations about this stuff. Like I want to know your opinions. I know there's people that actually care about my opinion about it because they comment and say, "Hey, I liked what you had to say about this or that." And that's kind of one. That's what I want to create here. I don't. I'm not hating on other channels that like will just like show you like each manga. You know, because I see people that buy like hundred plus, three hundred fucking volumes of manga, and that's just like, you know, blows my mind. And that's not the channel I'm trying to create. I might not collect 100 volumes of, of a series. I'll collect maybe like 10 sometimes to like 30, even 50 for like my birthday haul. I collected like 50 volumes of manga. I talk about it all. I talk about every single fucking volume. Like it doesn't matter what it is. You know, like like right now I'm reading, right now I'm reading uh, Raw Hero Volume 3. But like, let's say I'd pick this volume up or something, you know, in one of my hauls, I'd say, oh, so here's uh, Raw Hero Volume 3 by Akira Hiramoto, and I love his other series, you know, he did Prison School, and he's just a really solid writer, his, his, his creations are phenomenal, everything that he does and he puts his hands upon feels like a labor of love, and you can tell he's having fun, you know, with what he's creating. So that's kind of like how I, you know, do my presentations, and that's that's the way that I show you guys manga and like i want to say something about each volume because i see people buy volumes of manga or i see these people that do like their 100 plus hauls and they don't say anything about any of the series it's like it's just like oh here's all these things that i bought but i don't know what any of these fucking things is about and like i want to because like, i i don't I, i'm kind of a lazy asshole so it's like i don't want to like have to go out of my way to find out what something is about and I know there's other people, too, that they'll just see the volume there. And if you're not telling someone, you know, like, this is what this is about, you should check it out. It's just another volume that you bought. And that's it. So I want to make a conversation out of everything and say, like, so here's this volume that I bought. And I think you should buy it as well because of this. And it reminds me of this. And, you know, there's draw parallels or whatever to other medias. And there might even be people that, that you know, because I mentioned some movie, they never even heard of it. And now they're going to go watch that movie. And they might it might become one of their favorite films ever because I talked about this manga and it reminded me of that film. So I just wanted to say really quick to those of you that have stuck around and I know that, you know, it hasn't been easy staying with me considering that like I've, I'm all over the place and sometimes I don't do a lot of like stuff related to manga. And maybe some of you are even even here for the manga at all. You just like the vinyl journeys and you just stick around because you like what I bring to the table or something. And so I just wanted to say thank you to you all. And usually I save toasts and stuff for like my vinyl journeys, but but I wanted to toast to you guys, to every one of you, since this is like essentially like a vlog dash update video. And like, yeah, I just wanted to give a toast to you guys and say thank you. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much that you've stuck around with me. I mean, it's crazy that like I have a hundred plus subs. Even though, like, I lost five of them, I gained. I gained, like, four. I, I lost five subs, but then I also gained, like, four back. So my current number, as of, as of right now, as of this recording, is, like, 109. But it could go back down or it could go up. And I don't know. I'm, regardless, I'm really happy that anyone at all, like, any of you have stuck around with me. It means so much. So cheers. <laughs> and let's crack them open. Whatever you got. Whatever drinks you got on, on the other side of that screen. I don't know what you guys got over there. Maybe you got some... Some, uh, <laughs> hey, you got some, some soy milk 
or maybe you got your uh, your frappuccino, your venti, whatever it is you're drinking over there. Uh, let's crack at that. Let's crack at them drinks open. And cheers. All right, so I have four videos planned, and these are all well, no, they're not all manga videos. One of the next videos that I have planned is To Your Eternity. I'm going to be talking about the first six volumes of To Your Eternity coming up. And yeah, I wanted to talk about the first six volumes because I think that To Your Eternity is such a compelling story. And I couldn't personally get into the anime. Like, I know there's a bunch of people that like really enjoy the anime and they're big fans of the anime. But I feel like one of those like the book is better type of assholes and I kind of hate that. But I'm going to go with it anyway. Um, yeah, but first of all, the first six volumes are incredible. The story is so well written. Uh, Yoshitoki Oima is an incredible writer. She isn't, she, her, her craft, her ability to, to create is, is mind boggling. And I feel like she should be cherished as a creator and as, as just someone who has brought into being this, this world that is magical and it's beautiful and it's dark and sad. And like, I just really want to, you know, talk about it. And though I know there's a lot of people that maybe would rather, you know, watch the anime. I want to make a case for the manga and defend the manga and say like, here, look, look at these panels and tell me that this, looking at these panels isn't way more gorgeous than watching the anime. Because like I watched the first episode of the anime and then like I saw clips from other scenes within the anime and I just couldn't help but feel like they were way better drawn in the manga and they look so much cleaner in the manga. So I'm not going to make too much of a case for it here because I do want you to watch that video. I'm going to be recording it next weekend. And yeah, I'm going to, it's going to be a why you should read. So that's going to be my next why you should read. My last one I think was about Die Dark and it's gotten pretty good. It's had a pretty, really, it's had a pretty solid uh, reception. And so I'm grateful for that. And hopefully this one will be well received as well. This uh, To Your Eternity one that I'm doing. And I'm also going to be talking about uh, Sakamoto Days. Uh, I just read that manga not too long ago. And it was actually in my haul from last week. My my uh, haul that received some backlash and lost some followers. I talked about Sakamoto Days there. And I really want to talk about... I want to talk more about it and kind of give it its own video. Do a let's talk about. And so that should be that should be fun. Yeah, like I just want to... I have more that I want to say about it. And I'd like to do that in a more more condensed to yeah, or yeah, like kind of like a more strict place, you know, where it's just that. And I'm not talking about talking about the days and then going on to the next manga that I'm going to be talking about. Um, also, I'm going to be doing a vinyl journey. This time it's going to be about Dark Throne, which is one of my absolute favorite black metal bands ever. And the funny thing is like the album that I'm going to be talking about is their album Soul Side Journey, which is not a black metal album. It's actually a death metal album. And it was their first album. But it's, it's legit one of my favorite albums ever. I heard it when I was like 15 years old. And it blew my mind. The artwork is incredible. And I just... I have so many things that I want to say about it. And with that video, I'll also just kind of talk more about black metal. Because I don't feel like I've talked enough about black metal in these videos. In my vinyl journeys. So I'm going to kind of like start branching more into that. And talk about a little bit about like dissection too or something. And then I'm going to be dropping my... After that, uh, the fourth video that I have planned is a... Is a Goodnight Boon Boon video, which will be the Goodnight Boon Boon volumes 5 through 6. So I'll be doing that next. I've already read volume 5. I'm actually going to be starting volume 6 soon. Because like I, I have like a whole set of manga that I'm trying to read so that I can keep creating content. You know, I, I don't just like stay with one series the whole way through. Because like I have like so many different things that I, I, I'm trying to do. And with this promotion that I have at work, I might even be able to have more time to dig through a lot of these series and... And kind of keep everything, you know, going. And I just want to keep a flow going of different content so that this channel can stay alive and so that it can flourish. And maybe even gain more subs, you know, as time goes on. And I just want to hang out with you all and talk about manga, talk about video games. And I, I may be doing that coming up, talking about some video games. I really want to talk about Elden Ring. I'm almost done with it. And once I finish Elden Ring, I'd really like to talk about it. And also wanted to bring to the table, would you all be interested in maybe, like, streams? Like, if I started doing streams... Would that be something that, like, you would all like to see? Just because, like, I feel like it would be good for a connection, you know, with, with kind of, like, you know, cr like, bridging a gap between you guys and me. Because, like, I record these videos, like, sometimes, like, two weeks, you know, from when they actually come out. And so you're seeing me, like, you're probably not even going to see this video till next weekend. 
And so it's like by the time like, the time that this comes out, it's already been a week for me and I've already, you know, started working on the next thing and I may have already forgotten what I even said here. So I figure like a good way to kind of like be more present and be more involved is to do, is to kind of like hang out and do like streams or something, you know, like I'll do them right here on YouTube. I'll do streams or whatever and like I'll stream Elden Ring. I'm actually about to fight a, a boss that is giving a lot of people a really hard time. And I won't say a name, but I will say that it's a place. It's at a place, or within a place called the Hallig Tree, in Elden Ring. So there's a boss there, and yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna say the name, but I'm gonna be coming up on that boss really soon. And I was just curious if anybody wanted to maybe see me fight that boss. Might be uh, a couple weeks from now. Just, just as like I try to navigate my way through through the game and get to that point. So yeah, I mean, it's crazy that I've been doing this now a year, and you know, it all started, I've, I've mentioned this in other videos as well, but it started with the Evangelion video, like, unboxing the vinyl, the Evangelion finally vinyl. Like, if I hadn't, you know, unboxed that vinyl and put it on video, because I was going to open that, I was going to open it up, and I was just like, you know what, what if I, like, did this on camera? What if I opened this up on camera and, like, shared it with people, like, would they like it? And, you know, I can't even really think much of it, I just wanted to post something just for the hell of kind of starting up a new channel. I know, like, actually... This isn't even my first time trying to make a channel. I'd done a channel before and I talked about this as well. Where like I was trying to do like a reaction channel and I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it was going and I, I scrapped it. And then I, even before that I, I was learning Japanese when I was like in my early 20s. And I kind of... And I was trying to like make videos. I was trying to make like skit videos in Japanese. And like I had Japanese friends that I would show these skit videos to. And they would be like, oh, you know, you mispronounced this or you did that wrong. And I don't know, I just, I kind of did like 13 videos and I lost, I lost steam. I got tired of it, got bored of it and I stopped doing it. I also stopped studying Japanese and I'd really like to get back into studying Japanese. And I was even, I've even been throwing around an idea of maybe doing it on this channel, maybe have a segment every week or every so often where like, I just kind of show you all where I'm at with trying to learn Japanese and maybe even try to meet teachers and maybe like take the camera with me as I do something along the lines of trying to you know improve proficiency at Japanese like in all honesty right now I should be speaking like fluent Japanese because I started when I was like 24 and like, I used to study so much I do like hiragana and katakana like I knew that stuff really well I could just write it all now I can't even I can barely read hiragana anymore because like it's been a while since I since I studied it but man like I, I, sometimes I just I kick myself you know just thinking like like, if I would have just stuck with it, like, there's this dude on here on YouTube called uh, Japanese from Zero or or George Trombley. And one of his things that he used to say was, uh, was it Chirimo Tsu Moreba Yamato Naru, which I think is like even specks of dust become a mountain. I think that's what it was. Chirimo Tsu Moreba Yamato Naru. And yeah, it means like even specks of dust become a, become a mountain. And it's just like I used to study it so much. So I like introduce myself like, Oh, hajime mashite, Oscar to moshimasu, yoroshiku onegai shimasu. <laughs> Nihongo o benkyo hanasemasu. Nihongo o benkyo hana, hana, Nihongo o benkyo... What is it? Nihongo o benkyo something? Nihongo o benkyo shiteimasu? Something like that? Shuru, suru? Uh, benkyo suru? Benkyo, benkyo suru or something? I don't know. People that speak Japanese are probably like this fucking idiot. <laughs> By the way, you stupid bastard, you have no idea what you're saying. Uh, San, Sanju... Sanju-san, Sanju-sansai, Sanju-san... Sanju-sansai, right? You know, to say, like, I'm 33. I can't remember, it's been a while, like, so yeah, like, my Japanese is extremely rusty. Uh, namake mono, <laughs> watashi wa namake mono desu. <laughs> I'm, I'm a lazy person. So I'm still gonna be doing the figure video. I have the, I have some of the figures here, like... Right here, I have a Raft Holly figure that I haven't. Un it's unopened, so I have like four figures that are all unopened, and I wanted to get like two more. I wanted to get two more, two more figures to make it like a good unboxing video. And one of them I want to be like a more expensive figure because I want to compare and contrast. You know, like the more expensive figures with like some of like the cheaper figures, and these are for the most part are like fifty or less dollar figures. And I wanted to buy one that's maybe like a hundred and something dollars, two hundred dollars, to kind of compare those with these and kind of like, just say like you don't have to spend you know so this amount of money on a figure. You can get really nice cheaper figures, and 
and I'm not talking about like $10 figures, you know, like if you don't want to be like that cheap and then the figure ends up being a piece of shit or something, you can get like decent figures for like 40 to $50 and they're like, I kind of want to call them mid-range figures, but I don't know, I feel like everyone has their own version of a mid-range because there's people that spend like a thousand or more dollars on like statues and shit. So they're probably, to them, mid-range is probably like a hundred, two hundred dollar figure or something. But like my mid-range is like fifty dollars, forty, sixty dollars, you know, and then, you know, then you have like the super cheap figures are like ten or twenty dollars. So I, I definitely want to do that video just to kind of like talk about that and more of the buying aspect of it rather than just saying, hey, let me unbox these figures for you guys, you know, just because like I feel like that would make it a lot more interesting. I also want to do like a updated figure. Uh, I also want to do an updated, uh manga collection video so right now as of this video i have 305 volumes of manga and by the time yeah by the time i do my next uh collection video hopefully i should my goal is pretty much to get to like 500 once i get to like 500 uh volumes of manga then you know i'll do my updated collection video just because like i don't have enough stuff yet like i've only added like what, what i think i had like 222 last time so i added what like like 70 something volumes of manga like 78 volumes of manga to the collection since it since i did that and i don't feel like that's enough like if i'm gonna do a collection video again it has to be like a solid number it has to be like 450 maybe I'll, maybe I'll, I'll do it like i'll do it at 450 or 500 so like you guys tell me if you want to see it at 450 i'll do it at 450 or if you'd rather just wait till it hits 500 i'll do it at 500 like i want it to be collaborative you feel like I mean, it's for, it's for your benefit, as well as mine, just because, like, I'm curious, you know, to, like, kind of go through everything. But, yeah, I mean, like, whatever you guys want to see, like, I'll do. I'm even thinking about doing, like, a completed series video. And, funny enough, like, I thought my my monster set was complete. I even, like, bragged about it on my last video. I was like, yeah, man, I completed my monster set, and I'm still missing a volume. So that was... So that's, like, really sad. <laughs> so that's, like, really sad, dude, because I was like, I have, like, eight volumes. I was like, yeah, man, I have all eight volumes of monster, and then come to find out there's a volume nine... I didn't even realize that there was a volume 9, and I'm kind of bummed that, like, nobody said anything to me. Maybe they were just like, you poor bastard. <laughs> just, like, let him live in his delusion. But, yeah, there's a... Uh, I have volume 9 in the cart, so I should... or I'll be ordering it this upcoming weekend, and you'll see it in my, my next haul, which should be May, June. So that'll be, like, my next haul, May, June. So I'll be getting back into doing hauls. And from now, going, from now on going forward, it's going to be every two months. Uh, it's not going to be monthly hauls anymore. Just because, like, I don't know how much stuff I'm going to end up actually collecting, you know, each month. So, yeah, be prepared for it to be, you know, every every two months going forward. And also, you know, once I finish Goodnight Boon Boon, my next review is going to be about Prison School. And I've, like, talked about that series, like, a thousand times. It's right there on the shelf. And once I, once I finish Goodnight Boon Boon, I'm going to be going through all of Prison School. And I'm going to maybe do every three volumes. I'll do a review every three volumes or so of Prison School until I finish it, and then after that, I'll probably jump on, like, 20th Century Boys, or, or even Monster, or something, and I'll do, and I'll do reviews about those, but basically, like, my end game is, like, I eventually want to get to Berserk, like, I'm eventually, like, gonna do a let's talk about, or, like, a let's review for Berserk, but I'm gonna wait until, like, every volume of Berserk is out before I do that, so it might, it's going to be a while before I get to that. And it's cool with me because it'll give me a chance, it'll give me a chance to get through all the other stuff that I want to do Let's Reviews for first. I right, one of the last things I wanted to mention is I might even like start doing more like going out into the, into the world videos. Just so like every video you see of me isn't just here in this room. I was thinking about maybe going like manga shopping or something and taking you guys with me. I think that would be cool to do. Uh, just to kind of get out and, you know, explore and see if I can't hit like maybe shops or something and, and just pick up different volumes of stuff and see what's what's out in the wild and see you know what what we can find yeah I think that would be really cool and I just want to say thank you again so much for hanging out with me and for watching these videos I'm about to hit the 30 minute mark on recording I've been going pretty much this whole way through just recording this one video so before we hit the 30 minutes I want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me my name is Oscar it's been a pleasure and hopefully we we knock out another year man we closed out a year in may and hopefully you know by next may that'll be two years maybe i'll have like 200 subs by then <laughs> uh you know what i'll be grateful with whatever i have and i just wanted to say again thank you so much for sticking around and for making this all worth it please take care of yourselves until next time